Good morning, I'm Anne Marie Laflame and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. An arson investigation is underway after crews say someone started multiple fires inside an apartment building on Detroit's west side. It happened on Heritage Place near Joy Road and we're told one of the fires was set right at the door causing problems for people trying to escape. One person and two people were rescued and a firefighter was burned while trying to put out those flames. Detroit police looking for two people wanted in connection with the shooting of a transgender woman. It happened Monday night at Seven Mile and Myers on the city's west side. Police say an argument led to the violence and were told a man allegedly pulled the trigger and then his girlfriend picked up the gun and took it with her. No word yet on the victim's condition. Michigan State University interim president John Engler is scheduled to appear on Capitol Hill today. He's expected to testify before Congress about Larry Nassar's sex abuse scandal. Now the presidents of USA Gymnastics and the United States Olympic Committee are also expected to testify. All right, we're looking for a mix of sun and clouds outside. We uh, are looking at spotty showers developing for the second half of the day. Most of the rain during the first half of the day is off to our east, but as we warm up into the 80s, we'll see showers and a chance of thunder bubble up here across Metro Detroit. Your highs today will peak between 80 and 83 degrees. Then we quiet down overnight and tomorrow, Wednesday, we're actually looking for a warmer day. We're looking for a high temperature that will peak near 86 degrees, but rain is back Thursday and Friday. A beautiful weekend, highs near 80 and partly sunny. Big changes coming to the north terminal of Detroit Metro Airport. A major renovation project is planned and will bring many new dining options. Some of those new restaurants include Atwater Brewery, Jolly Pumpkin Tap House, Air Margaritaville, Anita's Kitchen and Lebanese Cafe, and Detroit Street Cafe featuring Zingerman's Coffee. And those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Don't forget, you can get the news anytime at WXYZ.com and on the 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Anne-Marie Laflame. Have a great day.